Thank you, Carolyn. Good evening, sisters and brothers. In June 2008, the Toronto and York Region Labour Council invited activists who have been on the front lines of dealing with workers' rights, poverty, social inclusion, and healthy cities. We invited them to come together and talk about the fight for good jobs. The goal was to start a dialogue on how do we raise the living and working standards for people in the GTA. Why did we make this call out? Why did the Labour Council make this call out? We believe we needed to come together as workers, as communities, to address the challenges we are facing of massive job loss and the increase in poverty for people in Toronto. We found that the poverty reduction strategies being discussed did not include the creation of good jobs, strangely enough. We wanted to inject this into the anti-poverty debates. Also, organizations and unions were doing amazing work, but we continue to work in silos with some linking on individual campaigns. We wanted to connect the work that is happening in this city and attempt to bridge the organizing across sectors, communities, and issues. The response to the call out was positive. Over 40 leaders came together from unions and community organizations. We had a dialogue on how do we organize to create and sustain good jobs, and good jobs that are green jobs. How do we create good jobs within an equity framework? We don't want to create good jobs for some. We want to create good jobs for all. People, people wanted to see how we can build a just society with a good quality of life for all, including decent work, healthy communities, strong public services, equity, and a sustainable economy. So the Good Jobs for All Coalition was formed. It is a broad-based alliance of 38 unions, environmental, anti-poverty, youth, community, students, and social justice organizations. The coalition decided to organize a summit so that we can have a GTA-wide dialogue on good jobs and develop an action plan coming out of it. People, however, did not want just a one-day event. They wanted the organizing to continue after the summit. It was also important to connect issues of all workers unionized workers and non-unionized workers. Taking the conversation into unions and community organizations strengthened the foundation of the summit. On Saturday, November 22, 2008, over 1,000 people from labor and community attended the Good Jobs for All for a Greater Toronto Summit at the Metro Toronto Convention Center. It was an historic event. Participants we're excited to be speaking with people from different sectors and developing strategies together. Out of this historic summit came an action plan and the Good Jobs for All for a Greater Toronto Declaration. It was developed by the coalition, evolved through the dialogues, and was endorsed by the thousand plus participants at the summit. It presents our vision, our vision for the GTA and really is the backbone of the coalition's work. It states our shared vision in the 11 bulleted points you'll see. Some of these are including respect for the work done by everyone in our society, the ability to have full-time stable employment, the enforcement of legal employment standards, the need to have work that is safe and healthy, the right to have a union, the recognition of diverse skills, the equitable access to work, training, and advancement. I just want to end by reading a quote from Now Magazine about the summit. Quote, the convention center meeting hall was a buzz with a standing room only crowd of more than a thousand participants of every race and nationality in the city. They came in answer to the coalition's call to begin laying the turf for a new style movement, aiming to bridge community, environmental, and labor issues." End of quote. To sustain the momentum of the summit and to make the declaration real, 
we have organized ourselves into three working groups since the beginning of January. The first group is empowering workers. We have been currently working with community partners, unemployed workers on the EI campaign. So far, we've organized four rallies, five town hall meetings in different neighborhoods, and lobbying MPs. We have also supported the campaign that's led by Workers Action Center on Temp Workers. We've just won Bill 139, which just got passed last week, that would <laughs> impose and strengthen the regulations on temp agencies and stop their exploitation of temp workers. Here, I have to salute the group, the Live-In Caregiver Support Network, for their courage and their organizing in exposing some of the conducts of those unscrupulous <laughs> employers that you're reading in the paper these days. The second group is Green Economy for All. We are working on organizing a Green Jobs for All conference in the fall of 2009, looking at also including local procurement, living wages, employment equity as part of that action plan. And the third group is investing in social infrastructure. We are supporting the campaign that's led by the community social services campaign, the Ontario Child Care Coalition's campaign. But most importantly, we are also working with groups in how do we make public services public? How do we maintain health care services that will be accessible for all? Sisters and brothers, the summit last November, with all its diversities, the colors, the vibrance, represents a moment of hope and a moment of renewal. It rep represents a different way of organizing, of coming together of labor and community, a way of movement building that's grounded on a vision of social and racial justice. It's recognizing that there is no shortcut to relationship building, and we need to learn to walk together for the long haul. This deeper wave of building solidarity comes from a recognition that our rank and file members are also parents, tenants, homeowners, hockey moms or soccer coaches, congregations of different faith organizations, sit on the boards of shelters, United Way agencies, and cultural organizations. We are part of the community. The urgency of building solidarity also stem from the recognition that to counter the onslaught of this corporate globalization agenda that is premises on the disunity of working class here and everywhere in the world, we can't do it alone to push back and to get uh, the money, the $57 billion that is legalized theft on the EI surplus, to forge a green economy where there will be jobs for all, we need each other. Much as we might be divided by racism, sexism, and all the other isms, in this time of crisis, we need to find a way back to working class solidarity. The power of coalition building and movement building come when, comes when all of us here tonight and all of you going out and getting the message out to your members tomorrow morning, it comes from that message when we realize we are each other's keepers. And yes, we are gonna build a community where no one needs to stand alone where nobody is left behind. We urge all of you to join the Good Jobs for All coalitions and help us turn this spark into a wildfire of hope and justice. Thank you. Thank you, Judy, and thank you, Winnie.